So Mini, remind mm -hmm. me again, why is it that I'm having cool drink while you're having a nice cup of hot chocolate? You're asking me, but you know you're weird. It's cold outside. You should be having tea or coffee or something. But cool drink is nice. I love cool drink. Even when it's cold outside. I mean, we do have a heater on. At least it'll keep us warm. Well, you should thank science. Mini, did you know that heater's elements have high resistance? I've never actually thought of their resistance. So it turns out there's a high relationship between Ohm's law and heater's heating elements. Okay. Is this because Ohm's law states that the electrical current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across the conductor and inversely proportional to its resistance. So this means if the heating element has high resistance, then the current that flows through it will be lower, while assuming that the voltage is kept constant. Precisely. And that's why heaters are designed with high resistance elements. By limiting the current passing through the element, the heater can generate heat without drawing too much current from the electrical power supply. Remember, this can cause safety hazards. Okay, so the high resistance of the heating element ensures that the voltage applied across the, con the, the circuit is dropped across the element and also maximizing its ability to generate heat. Yes. So, the next time you use a heater, remember that its high resistance is a critical aspect of its design based on the principles of Ohm's law. It helps ensure safe and efficient operation, allowing the heater to generate heat without drawing too much current from the electrical supply. Ah, oh, Tabang, how do you always drag me into these conversations of yours? What can I say, Mini? I'm a science person, eh? Ah, oh, man. What are we watching? Um, The Big Bang Theory? No, let's watch Queen Charlotte. Oh, the Big Bang it is. <sighs> Not that again. There you go. Oh. Okay, medical.